What is up guys? I am doing an update video because I'm going to be going back to work in a few days and I've wanted to get this out for a really long time. I've done so much stuff to Omar, my Miata, and I have some videos just backlogged. I need to finish editing, but I'm going to show you what I've done and then I'll have more detailed videos coming out maybe in the weeks or months. Um, I just finished two little projects today that I recorded videos on. They'll be short, quick videos, but as you can see, uh, Omar is here and the rest of my driveway is empty. I sold my Genesis because I just didn't drive it enough and I wasn't enjoying it like I thought I would. It's a great car, it's fast, but my work commute is a couple miles. I wasn't even working, so I was just driving it around aimlessly. And I really enjoy driving the Miata, if not more than my Genesis, and I'm like, why the heck not just drive this every day? So I got rid of that. I'm not saying I won't buy any performance cars in the future, but right now I just felt it was better to get rid of it while it still had some value. And I sold it, and basically it cost me $2,000 to own it for one year, uh, depreciation that is. So not bad. I was very happy with the amount that I was able to get for it, which is why I pulled the trigger on selling it very quickly after making the decision uh, that I might be wanting to sell it. So. Um, all right, let's get to the modifications I've done, and uh, that's my update. Oh, and the biggest thing of my update is uh, my channel is going to be taking a slightly different direction, um, but the market for this type of stuff is smaller, but uh, check it out. All right, so this is my electric scooter. It's kind of a high-performance electric scooter. It has two 1,200-watt motors, and honestly, right now I'm dealing with one of the motors, possibly have gone out so I can't even ride it right now but this thing goes up to 45 miles an hour I've ridden it 45 miles and I think it can probably go 50 if I were to baby it a little further on a full charge but it is sweet you can accelerate really fast on it and um, oh hello you can accelerate really fast and it's just like a different means of transportation and just kind of fun stuff but uh, in Kentucky where I live you're allowed to ride them on the roads and not at 45 miles an hour but you're allowed to ride them and some states like one for example Pennsylvania they're illegal to ride on the roads so um, if you're looking to get one of these just check your state laws because that is a big part of owning something like this but it has a huge battery that's uh, built into the board or the deck here and then, I don't know if it, the video does it justice, but these wheels are huge. The suspension is awesome. And I also have another one called a Gotrax XR Elite. I plan on doing full reviews of both of these and uh, showing their ranges. Uh, the Gotrax is more of a beginner's. It has one 300 watt motor in the front and you can go about um, 15 miles and about 15 and a half miles an hour. But they're pretty sweet, and uh, okay, let me show you the stuff I've done to Omar. All right, so I just finished adding uh, this little cup holder down here. Uh, it's nicer to have that being a daily driver, have it out of the way of the shifter. Um, I bought this thing, and it also came with uh, a new cup holder in there and a tray in the bottom. So I can sit my phone in this and aim it towards me when driving, which is nice. There's nowhere in this car you could put a phone while driving because even these mounts or the vents putting a mount on there just falls out and and these are known to just kind of angle down don't doesn't work I just replaced this shift boot with a new leather one pretty sweet and I just re-wrapped my steering wheel with a new leather wrap which looks amazing so now you know when people look down into my car it doesn't look like a bunch of cracked and weathered leather so there's my old shift boot and uh, like I said I'll be uploading individual videos on that but that is my update on that and I also have the racing beat exhaust I had a video uh, on this I just haven't gotten clips of the ex actual exhaust sound and I know that's what everyone wants to see but yeah, this new exhaust is awesome. And um, I haven't dynoed the car, but with the exhaust and the intake, the drivability is so much better, feels quicker. And I know that most people say this stuff robs you of power and it's all mental, but 
the car is definitely faster than it was before I added these two things. And I have a heat shield underneath my hood that blocks the air intake from getting too much heat. And I think that definitely helps. My coilover suspension, I raised it up. You can see the slight marking on the left side of it. That's where it was. Now I've made it all the way up as high as it'll go. And it just gives it tons of ground clearance, which for a daily driver is a little nicer. And it still rides great like a Miata. And I can swap it out at any time I want to. I can go back down. But right now I like it up a little bit higher. And under my hood, just the look of it now is awesome. So I, I painted that a long time ago. Added the heat shield, removed the car charcoal canister, um, put this little breather hose on there, added the intake here. Uh, back here, it's hard to really see, but I put the, the mount on my master cylinder, my brake master cylinder, which gives the brake a much better feel. I've gotten used to it now, but when I first added it, I could definitely tell there's a difference of firmness to the pedal. Um, so yeah, everything is good under here, and it just looks a lot better. A clean engine bay just is so nice. Alright guys, that is all I've got, so stay tuned for more of my Miata modification videos, especially my exhaust, and some electric scooter stuff, and within the next few months, because I'm going back to work, I have access to wholesale trade-in cars, and I plan to buy something. I'm hoping to get a hatchback, wagon, or um, like a Lexus sedan. I really am interested in that, and my wife loves the IS, um, the IS body style. So hopefully, I can get something like that. If somebody traded in an IS wagon, they're so rare, but that would be like the perfect car. All right, guys, thank you for watching. Like and subscribe if you haven't already, and um, I appreciate you for sticking around. And stay tuned for some more videos later.